are on a road trip. That is why, oops, um, that is why we're different, um, different location. It's kind of jumpy. I don't know if I'm covering, no, I'm not covering the mic, but yeah. So where are we going, Jen? We are going to the sweetest things. It's a cake store, a cake decorating store that's opening up in Gainesville, Florida, and today is their grand opening, and we're going. Yes, we are going. We are super excited. We do have a cake store in Jacksonville, but this is in Gainesville, and we want to see what's in it, and yeah, I'm excited. Jen's excited. Let's go. Oh my god, there's an ah, accident! <laughs> look, it's, it's, look, we're going in that place right there. Oh. Turn right onto Northwest 48 Terrace <laughs> and turn right by Shush! Shush, that's where we're going. The Sweetest Things LLC. No. Sweetest Things LLC. It's Sherlock. Oh, Jen, this is where we're here. We're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we can buy. Let's go. Jen, are you ready? I'm Take. just gonna text me all the time. Say, all right. What, were you gonna kiss the camera? Okay, let me get up higher. So we just finished buying stuff in the sweetest thing, which was awesome. Yes, we awesome. loved it. Great, great store, great employees, good customer service. Yes, great, great items. They're getting new stuff in. This was just the opener. I will be back for some stuff. Very well organized. Yep. And then now, since we're still in Gainesville, we're gonna go check out Trader Joe's. We don't, we've never been to one. Never, I didn't even know what it was. We've never <laughs> been to a Trader Joe's. I've always wanted to go, but I've always had um, appointments that I couldn't break when I'm in Gainesville, so I can't go. So it's only 15 minutes away. We're gonna go. We're gonna also get something to eat and we'll do a haul. Bye. All right, let's go. Come on, get in the car with me. Woo. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> Jen's laughing at me. All right. Uh, we're lost. I mean, it seems to me like we're going back the exact way we just came from. Yeah, we just got off the interstate and it's telling us to go back onto the interstate. Oh, you know what happened? I must have missed the exit. It was, you like, were way back where we were in Gainesville. Oh, I must have missed the exit. Oh, oh. Uh, well, we're waiting we're to make a talking. We're too busy excited. <laughs> right? Stupid dumbass, Jennifer. Nope. Stupid Siri for not telling us we missed the exit. <laughs> and we're behind the semi. Semi. We were talking about. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's what happened. Jen saw a coffee truck. And she was <laughs> like, I'm going to ram that coffee truck because she wants some coffee. And I said, okay. <laughs> no, then, I know what distracted us. 
You were talking about Robert Downey Jr. I did not. Yes. You talked about That's Dominic West. Yes. I don't. I, I. I'm not gonna be afraid to admit Robert Downey Jr. I love him, and we're married in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> we are married. I don't care if anybody says he's married. He's married to me in my mind now. Um, but we were. We missed the turn. No, it really was the coffee truck because we were trying to figure out the. Uh, we were trying to figure out uh, if it was liquid because it was in a liquid kind of semi truck, you know, the oval shaped ones. So we were trying to figure out that. Um, yeah, I like totally know where I am because this is the way we go to the springs. Yeah. So we were trying to figure out that. So I think we missed it because we were like, oh, it's a gas truck. <laughs> it was yeah. a gas truck. It wasn't coffee. It was an advertisement for coffee. She tried to blow us up. Is what it is. Right. All right. To turn this back on. So we're going. We're going back, and we'll see you at Trader Joe's if we can ever find it. <laughs> okay. So. Southwest on Southwest Road. Okay. Am I even in that picture? Not yet. <laughs> now you are. So we went to. Um, here we go. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. One box of stuffing per 10 pound bird. Oh, so we went to Trader Joe's. It was really crowded. Didn't feel comfortable take it, whipping this bad boy camera out. So, Jen's gonna show you what she bought and then I'll show you what I bought. Okay. I got- Sorry about the lighting guys. It's habanero just lime tortillas. Okay. okay. Super spicy. Okay. Oh, I got this little cinnamon miniature thing. You know, it's gonna make my kitchen smell nice for Christmas. Get to the light. Uh, forward. Just, yeah, I go. Okay. I'm gonna light now. Okay. Trader Joe's chocolate chunks. Yeah. Little mini raviolis. Mm -hmm. um, and sprouted bread, sprouted wheat bread. Did you get anything special while we were standing at the uh, counter? Okay, so this is a uh, chocolate with cookie spread in the middle. Ah, speculous. Melanie turned me on to that because I had no idea what it was. So I've never tried it before, so. There you go. So that's Jen's, and did you like Trader Joe's? Yeah, it was fun. I just would like it to be less crowded so I could like take my time and really look at yeah, it. Yeah, we were being pushed out of the way a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like it was going to go out of style. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh, you want to try that? Yeah, I'm trying this before lunch. Before we eat? <laughs> Show the inside. Okay, does it taste good? Yep, it tastes good. <laughs> I would have rather had the caramel. So here's my bag. Um, I didn't get as much as she did, but I got good stuff. So the first thing. They had samples and they had um peri vera with cream of mushroom and you know it's like a it was like green bean casserole green bean casserole so i got the cream of portobello mushroom soup the condensed kind because it was really good and i love portobello mushrooms and jen's like it's only 50 cents at the store I'm like, but it's portobello mm -hmm. that's what makes it 199. it was really good it was a really good sample okay and then i got this um if you watch smell toasties you know i like some snap pea crisp that came in my love of food box so i got these which are basically the same so now you can try that and then they had another sample like a little bit away from it and they were sampling out two items one was this big and olive crisp um cracker it was really good and then they had the cranberry honey scent shiver shiver it's sure. just goat cheese. Goat just say goat cheese. It's cranberry goat cheese. It has cranberries all over it. It's so freaking amazing. That's really good. I went and got this, and then I walked right by him again and took his display. <laughs> um, and what else did I get? Oh, okay. And then it was lunchtime, and I'm starting to get hungry. I got a couple more things. I got Jen talked me into this. I'm gonna try it in a minute. These are the chili spiced mangoes, and it has paprika and cayenne pepper and sugar. Kind of scared, but I'll try them. And then at the counter, I also got another um, same speculous one uh, chocolate bar. It's dark chocolate filled with speculous cookie spread, which is supposed to be like a gingerbread kind of thing. And then I got um, a PB and J milk chocolate bar. It has peanut butter and tart raspberry jelly. And if it had any other jelly, I wouldn't have gotten it. But I was like raspberry. Mm -hmm. so, let's uh, let's try these. I'm scared. Excuse me. Don't don't have a feel on me. <laughs> See. Oh. It's not just, oh it's not just, hang on, weirdo. Okay, there you go. They're just mangoes. They're just trying mangoes. Oh, I can feel the cayenne pepper in my eyeballs. So that's what it looks like. I'm into it. She's into it. Very good with Jim. Thanks. So they're not, they are, they do have a spice to them. They just, they don't mesh well with the mangoes to me. The spice definitely overpowers the mango, for sure. You can eat that with your chili lime, um, the habanero lime tortillas, yeah. like a fruit wrap for mm -hmm. Right. So now we're going to go eat because we just ate. We're at. So he's kitchen. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Food. Right, our food. Oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Yum. That's great. Thank you. Enjoy. Yum. Let me see your food. What did you get? Tossed Greek salad. Tossed Greek salad. Hummus. 
and chicken kebabs. Mm -hmm. The aftermath. How was your food? Yummy. Yummy? The aftermath. There's my phone and my drink. All right. And my, hey. <laughs> We're waiting for the tree tunnel. The tree tunnel is so cool, you guys. Da, 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 da. Here's the tree tunnel. We're gonna enter the tree tunnel. Oh, I'm falling. Look at this. This is actually really pretty. Uh, that wasn't pretty. <laughs> hey, turn on your windshield wipers. These windshield wipers, they <laughs> scared the crap out of me when she first turned them on. Penny Farms. Jen has told me, so I'm telling you. Penny Farms. All right, let me let me zoom out. Okay. So Penny Farms apparently. Look at the sign. See retirement community. Penny retirement community right there. See it? So Jen has told me that it's actually for JC Penny employees for when they retire, like they're put out to pasture. <laughs> And I don't know if that's true or if she's just pulling my leg. <laughs> so if you know if it's true, let me know down below if Penny, if JC Penny has a, uh, a a retirement home for their employees, like <laughs> like their horses or something, put out for pasture when they reach their prime. So yeah, and we're we're in another.